Alrighty, here's the video review for Arms Micron Voyager Bulkhead. Um, it is, it's, it's the Robots in Disguise mold bulkhead uh, with the Arms Micron. He doesn't have the giant spinny thing of doom. Uh, and the Arms Micron can kind of attach like a jet thruster, I guess, here in vehicle mode. Uh, we'll go ahead and clip him down, turn him into... Here's what he looks like as a robot. He's just a really fat, chubby robot, but he's cool. And we'll get into him more later on in the video review because he's got some really neat stuff going on with him. Um, but here it is, uh, and I think, honestly, here's a, here's a, an instance where the stickers really kind of work in Takara's favor on an Autobot, because, uh, one, here's the, here's the American version, which is painted, and you see it's just paint, like, one, it's got this silly, I mean, it's, it's fun to play with, the spinny micro gimmick, but it's huge. I mean, the battering ram's okay, but we, we've gone over the, the detriments of this weapon right here. Here they are side by side together, and, and here he's just got, you know, he does have this, the, the headlights up here, but he's just just solid green windows. That, that's all you're getting here. Whereas here you actually get some some silver stickers that make some nice windows, an Autobot symbol. Uh, you can see his rims are painted. Um, he's a slightly different shade of green, as you can see. Um, he's got the rear stickers, the bumper. Um, black instead of silver up here on top. Um, just all the uh, Autobot symbols. All in all, I, I just think it looks a little better as a vehicle, uh, paint-wise, or de detail-wise, I guess, since it's not paint, uh, than this one, because you actually got some black and some silver and the red Autobot symbol instead of just the uh, the flat green paint here, um, as well as the silver on the rims. Now, here's a quick comparison of all three of them together with the first edition bulkhead. Let's see if I can get them all. Like I said, the first edition bulkhead really is, if you can only get one, that's the one to get. But um, this one's not so bad bad either. I'm going to take a brief minute here, get them all transformed into robot mode. We've already seen the transformation. He transforms exactly the same as this guy, so I'm not, I'm not going to waste time on that. If you want to watch that, uh, you can go find this video. I'll, I'll link to it uh, in the video description if you want to see the whole transformation. But we'll take a break here, and it will transform into robot mode, and we'll get into some of the really cool stuff going on there. Alrighty, and here we are back in robot mode. Now, uh, see, he's the same figure as the Voyager, um, the Rid Voyager, just with slightly different paint apps. And again, I think the uh, the detail work makes him pop a lot better than the American version of the Rid mold. Obviously, again, here he is with the first edition mold, um, and I still think that one's the best bulkhead you can get. But he really, this one really isn't bad for the fact that you can get him. Uh, so, you know, there's that. Um, also, here's his Micron. He, like I said, he's a little chubby dude. Um, we saw him before. You flip his hands forward, and you can flip this whole piece back, and you, it'll actually, you actually snap it into place. It'll, it'll snap into place up here. Fold the feet down, and it becomes a little thruster slash blaster. Uh, you can put this in his hand, um, and he can hold it like a gun. Which, in and of itself, is cool. You can also, if you so choose, one, you, you, can, you can use him as a gun... With first edition bulkhead, he can hold him as well. Neat. Um, you can also you can either you can either pop this off if 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 you don't like the whole thing, um, but you can actually uh, plug it into bulkhead hand and use it as a wrecking ball on the original bulkhead. Um, I like to use. Uh, uh, crap! Let me snap this back together real quick here. Um, but yeah, you just snap this right back on. You can, uh, this way. And you can attach it, uh, you, again, you can use it as a wrecking ball in various missions with the robot piece attached. It looks more like a hammer that way. But the really cool thing here is, uh, this peg back here is actually on a chain that stores inside the ball. So you can give him, like, a wrecking mace, uh, type thing. The chain comes attached to the end of the sprue that you build the Micron with, and uh, it was on this peg, so you can have it attached as a wrecking ball, or, and it just fits right inside the body there, um, and then you just peg this in. So you've got a peg there, and then if you want to use it, there's a couple little, you just pull it out, and he, he can swing by a chain, and that's really cool. That It kind of explains why he's got such a big body, because the chain stores inside of it, um, and I just think it's really neat. Um, so yeah, if you just want to use it as like a regular wrecking ball, you could just take this off and attach it to bulkhead. And again, you, even with this attached, you can still use it as a chain thing as well. So just a really neat little Micron. Definitely worth um, 
worth nabbing just for the Micron, I think. It, ho hopefully they'll make his Micron available individually. But, uh, but yeah, really cool. It stays in. There we go. So, yeah, there it is. Uh, Robots in Disguise. Uh, bulkhead from Takara. Arms Micron Takara. Arm, arms Micron Bulkhead from Takara. Uh, really, I, I, I think he's worth getting. He's cool.